What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Parahead Picker coming at you guys today with a quick little eBay sales update video. Uh, today's video, I'm going to share somewhere around probably 40, 45 items uh, that we sold over on the eBay platform uh, through the month of February. Yeah, not all the uh, items that I sold. Just to give you an idea of some of the things that I pick up, I source. I'll tell you what I paid for them, why I picked them up. Um, and maybe you know why they move for me or maybe they were uh, a hit or a miss um, I will share probably a little bit of both but uh, you know there's some really good items in here um, and a couple of really good bolos as well um, I know there's a pair of jeans in here that are sold for well over 100 bucks if you want to check those out make sure you hang in there and uh, watch all of that um, I think there are other a couple other pretty good sales in here as well um, for those of you guys who are new to my channel, I'm a part-time eBay seller. I sell on places like Poshmark, uh, Amazon, OfferUp, LetGo, Facebook Marketplace, pretty much anywhere where I can make a buck or two. Uh, I use um, reselling as a platform uh, just to make a little bit of extra money, provide a little better life for me and my family, put my daughter through private school, um, actually she goes to private college, um, and stuff like that. So just uh, reselling awards us just a chance to have a little bit better life. Um, than if we weren't uh, doing this. And I know it keeps me from having to work a whole lot of overtime. So anyway, guys, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. That's what you came here for. Here we go. Okay, up first, uh, I'll put it right up over here. Um, this here is a Ruger um, Guns, just a strap back hat, I believe, um, just with uh, some embroidery. Um, firearms hats sell pretty well, like Ruger, Smith & Wesson, Springfield Armory, um, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, Glock. Uh, I know those are some ones that I've sold uh, in the past. Uh, I typically sell most of my hats in the $20 range. I typically don't take much less than that for a hat. Um, and I usually always try to get them for under $2. So uh, whether that's sourcing them online um, through uh, online arbitrage, uh, flipping them, you know, like buying them on eBay and flipping them back to eBay. Um, I think I have a couple of those hats in here as well. I featured a couple of those uh, in my last sales update video. So if you haven't checked that out, um, you guys, uh, be sure to go back and check that video out as well. Uh, up next... Um, I don't know if you guys remember this little cartoon uh, from back in the day, um, probably like the 80s, I'm thinking. Uh, I think I remember this when I was a kid, or I can remember my sister watching this. Um, these are a couple little shirt tails, um, plush stuffed animals. Yeah, it looks like it says 1981. Um, this is what, Pammy and uh, Bogey, I believe. Yeah, so uh, every once in a while I'll source plush. I don't do it a whole lot, but if I, you know, I run across something that's pretty cheap, I will pick it up. I was into these for like 50 cents a piece. They sold for $16.32. Not a home run by any means, but, uh, you know, super easy and lightweight to ship. These, those went first class. Up next, uh, we got another, uh, there's another hat here. I believe this is a, this is a snapback. This is just a really nice Canon camera hat. This went for $20.67, free ship. Um, this sold here pretty quick. I bought the, uh, this was listed on uh, January 11th, and this sold uh, February 1st. So, uh, yeah, 30 days to uh, flip a hat. That's pretty good considering most hats tend to be a little bit long tail. So, really happy with that sale. Quick flip. I was into that for a buck. It was a goodwill pickup. Uh, man, uh, definitely missing uh, having goodwill open right now on garage sales. But uh, hopefully, uh, well, hopefully coming soon. Uh, up next, one of my other favorite things to flip is shoes. I love selling shoes, whether it be on uh, eBay, Poshmark, uh, anywhere. Just the ROI on shoes is absolutely amazing. Um, these are probably one of the lower price shoes um, that I'd sold or I'm featuring in this video. Just a regular pair of Merrill. Um, I believe these are men's. Yeah, just trail hiking shoes. These sold for $34.14 plus the buyer paid shipping on top. So a nice little sale there. I don't do a lot of books, but every once in a while, if I run across something, I will pick up some books. These here are um, sort of like anime books uh, from uh, Bleach, I guess is the uh, the series or whatever. It's um, just like five volumes, I think, volume one through five. These sold for $22.79. Uh, those were free ship. They might have shipped. Yeah, they were free ship. Um, and those can go medium mail, so they're uh, super cheap to ship anyway, so not too bad. Uh, there's another pair of shoes. Um, not a brand I typically pick up, but I got these for $3, um, and they were like new condition. I think these are actually almost like a brand new. This is um, Bandolino um, Women's, just a just a brown, I guess, what, ankle strap heel or whatever. Uh, I'm slowly learning about uh, different types of women's shoes. These sold for $27.29, plus bar paid shipping on top of those. Uh, I think they were all in about $38 bucks, uh, after shipping, so not too bad, um, considering, like I said, I was into those for about 3 bucks. Uh, next, another little plush. Um, this here is a Build-A-Bear workshop. I always keep an eye out for um, oddball Build-A-Bear stuff. Um, like I said, mind you guys, uh, this was February uh, when I ran across this rabbit. Um, it was kind of that pastel Easter looking, uh, you know, type of 
um, pattern. Um, I listed uh, this and uh, she sold uh, really, really quick. This, I paid uh, I paid 49 cents for this at my local Goodwill. Um, that's what my notes here say. So uh, yeah, it sold for $19.99, free ship. So really nice return on investment there. Keep an, out, keep an eye out for um, different Build-A-Bears. Uh, I know now pretty much uh, last uh, time I was at my local Goodwill, um, they're looking at most all the Build-A-Bears up now. Yeah, uh, up next uh, we got a Nautica competition. Um, just basically just sharing this brand um you know nautica is not a brand i typically ever pick up but nautica competition i will especially if it's in a bigger size um as in, in nautica uh competition usually it features like the sailing type of stuff uh patterns and graphics um this one here actually went for 22.79 so that's a pretty good price for a basic t-shirt it was into this for 2.99 and it was a double extra large so um you know not too bad uh on that um i, I have been pretty much sourcing the larger sizes in the men's clothes um you know i've i've been a clothing seller for quite a while but i've been really really learning and fine-tuning uh the clothing that i do pick up so now i know pretty much what moves and what tends to kind of sit around so a lot of the inventory i have now is older stuff uh but the you know my little better items um like i said i i, I know colors patterns uh name you know name brands and stuff like that to tend to uh, move a little bit quicker another one of my favorite brands to pick up Harley Davidson. This is a really nice Harley Davidson long sleeve shirt. Uh, I think this had a little embroidery on the chest. Uh, I got twenty two forty out of that. Not too bad. I believe that was free shipping. I paid three bucks for that, so that was actually a pretty good price for Harley in my area. Um, it's hard to source Harley. I mean, I, I sell a lot of Harley Davidson items, but uh, in my area, sometimes uh, it's tough to come by for a decent price because uh, typically a Harley T-shirt used uh, in a in any of the thrift shops around me normally runs a minimum of about $7.99 to 10 bucks. So uh, to pick that up for three bucks, I was pretty happy with that. And it being long sleeve, February, a uh, perfect time to get that up listed and uh, sold. So actually I listed that on uh, January 11th and that sold February 4th. So super quick flip there. All right, up next, uh, yeah, we got another hat. Um, like I said, I sold quite a few hats and caps uh, between you know eBay and Poshmark. Um, this one here was actually an eBay flip. Um, I bought a lot of hats, um, and I talked about this in my last video I did. Uh, every once in a while, I'll find some really good hat lots on eBay, and I can get them really cheap, shipped right to my door. As long as I'm into those under $2 a hat um, shipped, uh, you know, I'll scoop those up. This one here was one of those items that was in that lot. Um, I believe on this lot here, I was in it exactly for $2. So, but this is a really nice Adidas Golden State Warrior 73 snapback hat. Um, yeah, and then I ended up getting $21.72 out of that. So, um, yeah, really nice, uh, you know, really nice return on investment there for something I didn't even have to really go source. And uh, they shipped it right to my door along with uh, a few other items. So, I believe that almost... Oh, man, I was into, I can't re even remember. I've, I've bought several lots of hats. Um, typically, they're not overly big, but, you know, maybe 20, 30 hats, something like that. Um, you know, I'll end up getting, um, I may have to pitch one or two, or I'll just bundle them all up and then resell them once I get a handful of them. So, yeah, always uh, keep an eye out, especially right now with everything going on, thrift stores being closed, no garage sales. Uh, look at uh, sourcing items on eBay um, or other places like that, Facebook Marketplace, you know, offer up whatever um, that you guys can turn around and uh, reflip back on uh, onto eBay. But, yeah, eBay to eBay flip, one of my favorites. Uh, this here's another Harley shirt. Like I said, I love selling Harley stuff. Um, I pretty much know what to look for when it comes to Harley and I'm one of those sellers that tends to get a little bit of a premium uh, out of my Harley items. Um, I think in my last video, I, sh I featured uh, another Harley shirt in there. I think I got $20 $23 for a basic Harley t-shirt. Um, same thing with this one. This here is a uh, Harley Davidson 3X, but it's uh, Sturgis. So uh, Sturgis is one of those uh, things I always look for um, when I'm picking up Harley stuff. Uh, Willie G, I typically stay away from the black um, t-shirts. Um, I normally gravitate toward the colored ones and then the bigger sizes and then if it has something cool on it, this one had some flames and a skull, um, what have you, you know, I mean, it might be a little hard to make out in the graphic here or whatever, but uh, the little sales thing I got, but yeah, $22.89 for that uh, and I was into this shirt for two bucks and I got that at a garage sale, so um, yeah, really, uh, really happy with that uh, sale there. You say anytime you get 22 bucks, 22, 22, 23 bucks out of a basic Harley T, I'm usually pretty happy because that's those typically uh, float in that 15 to 17 dollar range. Mind you guys, this is February. This is a February 8th sale. Um, people ask me all the time, when do you list sh uh, shorts? When do you list swimwear? When do you list coats? When do you list winter coats? All the time. Uh, stuff can sell any time of year. Um, 
These here pair just Duluth Trading Company men's. Uh, I believe these are the Fire Hose Flex, um, just shorts, um, cargo shorts. I listed these in uh, December, um, and they sold uh, February eighth. So it looks like uh, two months to sell. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, December 9th, and uh, they sold February eighth. So two months to sell these. Listed them December, and they sold in February. So somebody needed a pair of shorts uh, in February. So yeah, guys, just. You're not making any money of it while it's sitting in a pile. So, uh, yeah, get that stuff up. Get it listed. It really doesn't matter what time of year it is. People go on vacations. Uh, you never know where they're going or where they're coming from. So, uh, get that stuff up. Get it listed in. Up next, uh, yeah, this is a vintage um, Pendleton Topsman jacket. Um, this, isn't a, this is a limited edition uh, model. Um, I've had this in my inventory for a little while. Uh, I can't remember if I got an offer on it or this was on sale, um, but uh, this went for 71 I believe I took an offer of 71 bucks because um, yeah, I typically don't list anything with uh, zero cents. So I uh, must took an offer of $71 on this plus the buyer paid shipping. Uh, they were all in at $81.55 for this. So, um, you know, not a bad uh, return on investment. Uh, I was into this jacket for five bucks. Just a really nice, you know, I mean, you can tell it's older. It's got three buttons on the front. Um, you know, it's it's a wool. Um, but yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, just uh, you know one of those unique items. There's another great pair of uh, shoes. As I mentioned, I love selling shoes. Um, these here are a pair um, I got at my local Goodwill. I got I paid six ninety nine for these. Um, these are ones that slipped through the cracks. Um, I don't they didn't know that these are Red Wings. Red Wings typically at my local Goodwill run about twenty five bucks for used um, in horrible condition. Um, these are about like brand new, but these are the Irish Setters um, by Red Wing. So, uh, yeah, really, really nice uh, pair of, like, um, just slip-on boots. Uh, and I believe these are steel toe. Yeah, these were steel toe. These went for $69.99, and uh, they were all in with the shipping at about $84. Bucks. So, um, really nice sale there, especially when I'm only into them for about 7 bucks. Really happy with that. It's another hat. Um, like I said, I love selling hats. This here is just Salt Life. Salt Life's a brand. I, sometimes I keep an eye out for that, especially if I can find it in bigger sizes or a little more oddball stuff. Obviously, this was new with tags. Uh, paid ninety nine cents for this. Got twenty one uh, forty nine out of that. So nice little return on investment there. Um, that was actually a really quick sale as well. I listed that uh, January twenty sixth, and that sold February tenth. So another super quick hat sale. Here's uh, Lands End. Uh, this is a goose down vest. Um, typically, I don't pick up a lot of Lands End stuff, uh, but when it's goose down, um, you know, I'll tend to grab it. And you know, it was February, so uh, you know, I. Yeah, I, I want to get that up, or it was, you know, I think uh, I might have grabbed, when did I purchase this? It looks like uh, I purchased this in December, about mid-December, so this lasted, uh, yeah, about, what, six, eight weeks. Yeah, about six, eight weeks. So a relatively quick sale. I paid six ninety nine for this at my local Goodwill. Not a big fan of the color um, or the size. I mean, you know, this is a medium, but it is like a puffer type of vest, but it is down, so uh, that's always a good seller. This one for thirty four fifty seven. so a nice little sale there. Up next, another hat sale. Um, I paid $1.99 for this. This is brand new with tags, um, or brand new without tags. Uh, Chicago White Sox um, fitted hat. Uh, I'm not a fan of the fitted hats just because you got to find that you know person that knows exactly what size their uh, their melons are. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I do I do prefer the uh, snapbacks or the uh, adjustable strap hats over fitted. But uh, you know this is one I picked up. Like I said, I paid $1.99 for this. This is a little more unique and different because I had the blue. Um, in it where, you know, the White Sox typically don't have that color. But yeah, twenty five twenty five really nice uh, return on investment there for, uh, I believe that was New Era. Up next, uh, this item, uh, man, I got this for free. Um, in my notes, it says I paid a dollar. I actually got two items that day. I paid $2 for the two items. It was this and one other item. Um, but actually, the other item cost $2. Uh, but this is an Orvis Sporting Traditions um, men's large, just uh, I believe they call this the ultimate chino vest. Um, it had, uh, when I went to the cash register, and I didn't notice it um, when I picked it up, because like I said, it was uh, it was pretty cheap. I can't even remember what they were asking for this. Uh, I told the lady, I said, hey, I said, I noticed there's pen all over the front of this. It had a bunch of pen marks all over the front pockets. And she goes, you know what? She goes, it, it, she goes I'll just give it to you. She goes, if you can get it out, you can get it out. That's great. If not, 
you know, we're just going to take, you know, if you don't want it, we're just going to throw it away. So just go ahead and take it. So I just divided this up with the other item that I bought. Um, so basically I was into this for a dollar or free, however you want to look at it. Uh, I was able to get the pen out. Um, one of my favorite things to use is um, the Tide pens and uh, a little OxyClean. And it usually takes out most everything uh, or the OxyClean um, spray and wash, or I believe is what it is. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting a uh, twenty nine sixty four out of that. So really happy with that. And that was light enough to go first class. So I always keep an eye out for these different types of uh, vests, um, hunting vests and that sort of stuff. So yeah, nice little uh, sale there. Up next, oh my gosh, we got another hat. Yeah, like I said, I love selling hats. Uh, this one here, I, I, this is probably one of the more expensive hats I've actually bought. Uh, I paid three ninety nine for this. Uh, yeah, uh, that's yeah really paying up, right? Um, but uh, I, I knew this was a good hat. Um, typically, like I said, it's just my um, how I do things with hats. I typically just don't over don't pay more than two dollars for a hat because I know most of the time what I'm going to get out of it. This one here, I knew I would get a little bit more just because this was Lamborghini. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice uh, Lamborghini uh, Squadra Course hat. Um, I was into this for $3.99. And uh, this sold, looks like I listed this January 26th. And uh, she sold on uh, February 13th. So uh, yeah, sold about two weeks. So really, uh, really quick sale there. And like I said, I got $34.89 out of that. So super happy with that sale. Up next, uh, another pair of shoes. These are just uh, San Antonio Shoe Company, um, just women's sandals. Um, these were new, and I scored these at my local Goodwill for $4.99, which is a great price. I got $52.97 out of those, and the buyer paid shipping on top, so they were all in at about $66. Bucks. So uh, really, has a really nice return on investment as well. Another hat. Uh, this here was an eBay to eBay flip. Um, this was in a lot of hats I purchased. Uh, these here, when I broke it all down with the shipping and everything, I was into these for $1.30. Um, this was a New England Patriots. Uh, I listed this on two fifteen. This actually sold the day I listed it. Um, <laughs> so my notes here say, uh, yeah, I listed on two fifteen, and it sold February 15th. So it sold in one day for uh, eighteen forty nine. So super quick flip there. Um, and like I said, that was uh, eBay to eBay. So another hat, um, this is just a Brooks Brothers bucket hat. Uh, I really, really like this. I picked this up for uh, 99 cents at my local Goodwill. Um, yeah, real real nice hat here. I got $24.89 out of that. Um, that was a quick flip as well. This was uh, February 11th, and I sold it February 19th. So uh, another just quick sale. Like I said, guys, I love selling hats. They're just so easy, so inexpensive, uh, easy to ship, lightweight. Um, you know, just, just keep an eye out for uh, some of these things, especially like the ones that I'm kind of showing you here. Uh, so you guys keep an eye out for those and, uh, you know, you learn to flip those. And hold out, you know, don't be afraid to hold out for some good money. I see people, I, I see big YouTubers on here. I see other people that I follow and stuff like that. They, they'll sell hats all day long at 10 bucks. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess, if you're getting hats at the bin or you're doing this or that. But, uh, you know, it's not hard to get 20 bucks, 25 bucks out of hats. I mean, I, I'm showing you a whole string of them here. So, um, you know, just take good photos, guys, and uh, you can get some really good money off some of these hats. You know, you don't have to settle. Uh, so here, up next is just a Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, you know, not something I typically pick up, but I will pick them up if they're different or more unique. This one had a really nice uh, pattern to it, but it's double X tall. So I typically always pick up talls. I pick up anything in the big sizes and if it has good colors and stuff like that. Uh, this one here sold in one day. Uh, I listed this on uh, 218 and it sold uh, February 19th. So this went for $27.99. I was into that for $3.99. So really nice return on investment there. Okay. Up next, oh my gosh, we got another hat. Uh, this here is another uh, eBay to eBay flip. Uh, this is one I was into for a buck thirty as well. Um, yeah, uh, this is a Mitchell and Ness, New York Knicks. Um, this one here was a little dirty. Um, it was in the lot that I got. It was a little dirty. I cleaned it all up and uh, what have you. This one for $19.99. Um, just I really like the colors on this when I seen it. And like I said, it was in a lot with a bunch of stuff. Mitchell and Ness, always good, you know, good brand to take and flip. So, uh, yeah, really nice hat there. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, here's another Harley Davidson. Um, Men's 3XL. Uh, this says Fat Boys uh, Rule on it. Uh, Fat Boy is a uh, type of Harley. Um, this one here went for $20.55 um, with the tax and everything else. They were all in on this for $22.45. So 
Again, another uh, just really good uh, return on investment for Harley Shirt. I was into this for $299. Uh, this one here wasn't, you know, didn't have a whole lot actually going on, you know, with it. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's 3X, so definitely hard to pass on one of those. L.O.B., another one of my favorite brands to pick up, especially in uh, more unique oddball stuff. This here was actually a vintage L.L. Bean windbreaker quarter zip pullover. Just real lightweight. I paid a dollar fifty for this at a consignment shop. Um, I think I talked about consignment shops in my last video. Um, it's another great sourcing opportunity. Um, this one here happened to, I happened to actually pick this up for 90% off. Um, so it had sat in there for quite a while. This is, uh, the, this consignment shop is more of a high end, uh, place. So stuff like this kind of tends to fall through the cracks. A lot of the women that shop there, they're looking for more, um, designer higher end, uh, brands. And the men's section is very small. So a lot of times I can, uh, score a really good deal at this place. Uh, you know, if I, if I'm patient, so. Uh, but yeah, really nice uh, return on investment there. Like I said, $1.50. Uh, I sold this for $30.01. Um, yeah, and this was, uh, like I said, super lightweight. This ship first class. So, uh, L.O. Bean. Vintage L.O. Bean. All right, this is something you, won't, you don't see me sell very often. Just not something I tend to pick up. I believe my wife was with me when we grabbed this. Uh, but this is just a fossil crossbody purse. Um, my wife or whatever, she loves Fossil. Uh, that's just, you know, everybody has their own brand. Uh, you know, not that it's extremely high end or anything like that. Uh, she just likes Fossil stuff. So when she's seen it, she, you know, she looked it all over. She knew it was legit. Uh, it was in really, really good shape or condition. Not something that she wanted, but, uh, I think I paid, uh, looks like $2.99 for this. So, um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, and we sold it for $29.48. And the buyer paid shipping on top. So this must have went, because they were all in for $40.16. So this must have been heavier than a pound. Um, yeah, so not too bad. Um, nice little return on investment there. But uh, yeah, you don't see me pick up a whole lot of purses. you got to be really careful with purses. Um, a lot of fakes out there. All right. This here is probably my best sale in this video uh, that I'm going to take and share with you guys. Um, these here are a pair of RRL, which is their, or the double R, um, is what they call uh, Ralph Lauren, um, yeah, double RL slim fit salvage jeans. Anytime you can find salvage jeans, um, they go for big money. Uh, but I was into these for $5.99 at my local Goodwill. Um, they were just mixed in with the regular jeans. When I saw them, I knew right away what they were, um, that I was probably going to end up with a minimum of probably 70 bucks out of these jeans. Looked them up. These were in perfect shape and condition. Um, you know, I did list these obviously as pre-owned. Uh, and they sold in, I listed these uh, January 11th and they sold, or I'm sorry, uh, February 11th and they sold February 24th. So really quick sale. I got $105 out of these. Uh, you know, great return on investment uh, and they paid shipping on top. So they were all in at 113 bucks for these jeans. Great return on investment for a pair of used jeans. Probably... My second or third highest pair of jeans uh, I've sold used. I know I sold a pair of Brioni jeans um, not long ago for around 170 And I didn't even know Brioni made jeans. And I know I've sold another pair of jeans that were in the upper, you know, a little 125 130 um, you know, used. But uh, these here are another great brand to keep an eye out for. So a little bolo for you guys. Uh, Double RL, um, Ralph Lauren, uh salvage jeans um some of these can go for some big money some of these will go three four hundred dollars um depending on which one's uh style and what have you um they, that you get all right up next uh just a orvis um this is a 52 long um really nice sport coat blazer whatever you want to call it, it has a kingdom check uh pattern um you know 52 long is a little bit bigger size uh, you know, it's a, like a 2X to almost a 3X sort of, you know, fit. The longs are always great. You start getting into that 48 and bigger um, in a long and sport coats and stuff like that, they'll tend to do really well, and it really doesn't matter what brand that they are. Um, you can get a little bit more of a premium, but uh, Orvis, always a good brand. Uh, like I said, I was into these this for uh, $9.99 and uh, sold for $45 bucks plus shipping. They were all in at $59.85, so nice little return on investment there. Again, as I mentioned, uh, I've sourced more bigger, uh, you know, more big boy stuff. Uh, this here is another one of those items. This is uh, Tommy Hilfiger uh, Men's 4XL, just a waterproof uh, regatta vest. Um, so it's just a really lightweight, um, you know, type of vest. Uh, I paid $7.50 for this. This was actually, I got this on half off day at Goodwill. So they had this for $15. Bucks. I knew it was never going to sell for $15. Bucks. Uh, I waited for it to go down to half off. 
and I scooped it up then. I paid $750 for this, um, which is a little more than I wanted to pay for it, but I knew I was probably going to get in the high 30s. Um, and I actually ended up getting $39.79 out of that uh, free ship. So I was okay with that uh, return on investment there. But yeah, um, just real nice, uh, you know, vest. Just basic Tommy Bahama. Um, just silk shirt. Uh, I like the color. It was just a little different. It was kind of that burnt orange rust, whatever you want to call it, $24.69. Just, you know, that's just your basic average everyday price. Honestly, even just the basic shirts like these, these are dropping uh, like rocks too. They're running typically about $17.99 to uh, $19.99 on the high end. So uh, to get $24.69 out of that, I was extremely happy. Uh, another pair of shoes. Um, these here are a pair of Sperry's. These must slip through the cracks at my local Goodwill. I paid $5.99 for these. Um, Sperry's normally at my local Goodwill are $15 bucks, uh, minimum just for used, uh, just the regular boat type shoes. These here were even a little different. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I was in these for $5.99. They sold for $60.11. Um, they were all into these for $77.79 with the shipping. So a uh, nice little return on investment there. Love selling shoes. Just ROI on shoes is absolutely amazing. Up next, uh, another pair of shoes. Probably one of my hands down current favorite shoes to sell are Hoka 11s or Hoka Ono Onos. Um, they sell lightning quick. Um, these I listed, uh, these sold in two days. Um, every pair I've had, I don't think I've ever had longer than two weeks. Um, normally I don't even think I have them a week, but, uh, and they always sell right around the, you know, low forties to, you know, high fifties. Um, I paid six ninety nine for these. Uh, I really like the colorway on them and stuff. They didn't even have like the big Hoka writing on them. Normally a lot of the Hokas will have, uh, big Hoka uh, writing or spell out on them. These here were just pretty plain, but a nice color. Um, these here went for $49.79, and uh, they were all in at $60.69 with the shipping on these shoes. So uh, $6.99 uh, into that, really great return on investment. Again, another pair of shoes. Uh, yeah, I, I, man, dude, I can't stress enough. Hats and shoes, two of my favorite things to sell. Uh, I, these here were also a consignment store pickup. Uh, I bought these for $10. Um, really, really great uh, shape and condition. Nike Air Maxes. Um, I typically pick up almost all Air Maxes in in decent condition, um, and if I can clean them up, uh, it's even better. Um, you know, ten bucks is about the top of the marks mark where I want to get into these at. Uh, I sold them for forty two ninety one plus they were uh, plus the shipping, so they were all in at sixty three seventy eight. So, uh, great return on investment there. Um, again, love selling shoes and uh, uh, okay. Up next, I got a couple of RA items. Um, this is one I'm really, really kicking myself uh, in the butt for. I happened to run across this deal, um, and somebody else in my area had run across the same deal about right after I did. I had a feeling there was someone in my area that was also doing the same thing I was doing, uh, and they confirmed my suspicion. Um, but, uh, the, yeah, these here are uh, a pair of uh, Bose um, SoundSport um, earbuds uh, for the uh, Apple iPhone, iPod, whatever. Um, I paid 25 bucks uh, for these here, and uh, they sold for 74.49. They sold uh, within two days of me listing them. Yeah, so great return on investment for um, uh, retail arbitrage. Um, you know, that's uh, normally uh, the margins on uh, R8 type of stuff um, is a lot thinner. Um, the next item I got, uh, I actually picked, I picked up three of these totals. So um, this individual actually bought two. Um, so you'll notice that the price is a little higher, um, but so as I mentioned, I was into these for $25 a piece, so uh, they spent $50, bucks and they sold. And these two here sold for $148.98. Um, I believe these were the 25th, and uh, they sold on the 25th, and uh, or no, I listed them on the 25th, they sold on the 27th, so two days to sell those as well. Uh, the buyer actually messaged me, he wanted to know if I had any more. I said, I think I have access to uh, about nine more. Um, I told him I would get back to him right away. I quick ran out to Walmart to go buy the rest of them. I should have bought them all at once because um, they had, I believe, a dozen. Uh, I bought three, just figuring out no one's, you know, it was my fault. Uh, I get out there, and I literally was about five minutes too late. Uh, they said a gentleman was there about five minutes before I got there and took all um, all nine that they had left. And these weren't even out on the floor. They were in the back. Um, that is one thing with, uh, you know, retail arbitrage when you do um, get a little tip. Um, or whatever on something like that. Uh, sometimes you have to ask for things that are not out. So, uh, you know, I do know that uh, there's definitely somebody in my area that is also uh, doing a little bit of RA. Um, 
you know, and they're sending their stuff to Amazon. I didn't even feel like sending this into Amazon. I have a feeling it would be a quick flip, and it was. Um, and they were, after fees and everything else, um, it was easy. It was just as easy to do it on eBay because uh, these were light enough to um, ship first class, and I didn't have the high um, fees and stuff like that. So everything kind of averaged out um, versus sending these into Amazon. So I just listed them on eBay. Uh, this here is just a Miranda Lambert um, certified platinum uh, concert tour shirt. So um, double extra large. I got twenty four eighty nine out of that. So really happy with that uh, sale as well. Uh, these here are a pair of uh, Margaritaville just slide sandals. I got these at a Salvation Army for three bucks. So uh, I was able to turn those into twenty one thirty two plus fire paid shipping on top. So they were all in for uh, thirty five bucks. Not too bad. Uh, Another retail arbitrage item. Um, these are just some uh, Black & Decker bypass pruners. I believe I had three of these. I've already sold one, and then I had two left. Um, this individual bought both of them uh, for $22.34. I was into these for like $2 a pair. Not a home run, but uh, you know, $4 into $22, I'll take that. And let's see, we've got another pair of shoes. These here are a pair of Merrill Sport um, suede leather, I guess, sneaker shoes. So. I got $31.49 out of those. I was into these for $5.99. Merrill's a great brand. Um, typically always sells pretty well and right about that $30, $35 uh, price point. They were all into these for uh, $42.60 with the shipping. Uh, man, here's a great item right here. This here is a Vintage Jams World uh, Vintage Men's Medium Hawaiian shirt. Uh, and it was missing a button. Uh, this shirt actually went to Hawaii. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting, but yeah, just awesome pattern. And, uh, I think I had this on my Instagram, uh, this sold for 50, 30. I was into this for three ninety nine. Jams world is a great brand to keep an eye out for. You don't find a whole lot of them out there in the wild, but they tend to go for some really, really good money. So when you find them, take good photos and, uh, you know, good descriptions. And even with the damage, uh, they still go uh, pretty well. All right, last but not least, we're going to wrap it up with another pair of shoes. So, uh, yeah, this is just another pair of, uh, women's Cole Haan. Um, these are really narrow. These are like double A slingback uh, pump heels, whatever you want to call it. These went for uh, $39.99. I was into these for $249. I got these, uh, I believe they were like half off. So uh, they'd set it. I mean, it's a small size. Seven and a half is a pretty small size for women. And they were narrow. So uh, when I seen them, I had a feeling that they might sit there for a while. Uh, I got it for half off instead of paying five bucks. Uh, I should have just paid the five bucks, but it was one of them deals where I probably didn't need inventory at the time. Uh, yeah, so we got $40 out of that. They were all into this $56.57 with the shipping. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much a nice little chunk of the items that I sold uh, over the month of February. Um, like I said, not everything, about 40, 45 items. Just a nice little assortment of uh, the items I pick up. Like I said, I figured I'd just take and share why I pick them up, uh, what I paid for them, where I got them, and uh, stuff like that, and maybe share a bowl or two with you. So, if you guys like this video um, and you haven't done so already, uh, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate that. It uh, you know helps me uh, move in the uh, uh, algorithm. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, um, you know please consider doing so, and I'll put out some more videos like this uh, as soon as I can and as time allows. I'm trying to be more diligent with that uh, as as we go. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, that's gonna do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, fins up. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.